Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So I've read your comments and I heard your thoughts and one of the main things I kept stumbling across was will the conductive ink migrate off the chip and hit the board? And yes, this could happen if you're not careful but as long as you're careful, something like that shouldn't happen. But that's besides the point, that's also one of my thoughts too. So I've done this. Take a look at that. The consistency of that is perfect, but it's yet still to be tested. So, I've managed to achieve this with three simple ingredients. So let's go take a look. Okay, so I've got my three ingredients right here. So obviously we're gonna be using our conductive ink with graphene. And then I've got a gelling agent right here, which is fume silica. And the reason why I chose this is it shouldn't interact with the properties of the ink. And then I've got a little bit of glycerin or glycerol right here. And we're gonna add a tiny, tiny little drop to it. And this is gonna act like an anti-drying agent. So I'm unsure about the weights. So I'm basically just adding a little bit, little bit, little bit until I feel like it's the right consistency. So I'm just gonna go grab a little spoonful, tap a little bit of fume silica in there and give it a stir. So that wasn't enough. So we're gonna add a little bit more. And it's still a little bit too thin, so we're just going to add a bit more after that. And there we go, it's starting to thicken up really nicely. If it gets too thick, you can add a little bit more ink to it to thinning it out. And now you just want to give it a good stir until it's smooth. So now that we've thickened this up a little bit, we're gonna add just a tiny bit of glycerol. And I mean a tiny bit, just a drop. Like so. And that's pretty much it. So what we're gonna do is pot this up and leave it for 24 hours. <coughs> So it's been 24 hours and I have to say it's good that we made it slightly thicker because within that time period it's thinned out just a little bit which has made the consistency perfect. So now it's time to test this and I'm not going to put this in my main system because I'm obviously running an experiment with the conductive ink at the moment. But I've got a laptop upstairs, it's an old laptop which runs pretty hot. So what I'm going to do is replace the thermal paste with this stuff and just run a couple of tests. And depending on how this performs, I might actually swap out the conductive ink in my main system for this stuff. So, let's get it apart and replace the stuff on the chips. Okay, so before we put our new thermal paste into this laptop, I thought I would just do a little torture test on the CPU to see what kind of speeds we're already getting with the uh, thermal paste that's already in here. So, I want to thank uh, DIY Eco Projects for suggesting this program right here, and this is called SpeedFan, and it's an <laughs> awesome little program the more I start to research into it. So thank you for that. Right, so I'm just going to leave this to run for five minutes, and I'll catch the peak temperature when it hits it. Right, so I have let this run for 10 minutes instead of the five that I originally planned. And we've hit a max temperature of 91 degrees, but it's just dropped that back down to 90 right now. So let's replace this thermal paste with the stuff that we've made and see if there's any difference. Okay, so I've taken the laptop apart and I've taken off this cute little heat sink. And I have now put our thermal paste onto the chips right here. So what I'm gonna do is screw it all back together Turn it on and see if it works. So I'll see you guys in two seconds. Right, so I've got the laptop put back together and set up and it's sat behind me right now. And it's, all, it's got our conductive ink um, thermal paste inside of it. So what we're gonna do is run the same benchmark as last time and see what kinds of differences that we're seeing. Right, so let's get it started. Okay, so I'm gonna start this torture test now and we're gonna be running the exact same settings as last time. So I'm just gonna hit okay bring everything so I can see everything at once so we've just hit 10 minutes running this torture test and as you can see our average temperature is 86 degrees oh 87 now which is now our peak temperature so let's go talk about that a little bit more right so the thermal paste that was in the first test hit a peak temperature of 91 degrees Celsius bear in mind this was running at 100% load for 10 minutes straight 
But if we compare that against our conductive ink paste that we've made, running under the same conditions for the same amount of time, under the same amount of load, we hit a peak temperature of 87 degrees Celsius, which says to me, this has a lot of potential. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and suggestions on how I can make this test more accurate and fair, because like I said, it has a lot of potential and I'm 100% interested in pursuing this. With that being said, this does bring me to the end of the video. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.